Artificial intelligence has become extremely advanced in the past few years. It makes art, writes papers, and answers some of life's biggest questions. It's doing a lot of things that before we thought could only be done by humans. But can it solve a Rubik's Cube? How do I solve a Rubik's Cube? And it's doing it. Solving a Rubik's Cube is a daunting task, but it's actually a fairly straightforward process. There are many different methods for solving a Rubik's Cube, but one of the most popular is the Friedrich method. Okay, let's see what it says. Create a cross on the top face. Now that is the first step of the Friedrich method. However, most people do it on the bottom. Solve the top layer. Oh, now that's actually not the second step of the Friedrich method. This involves positioning the top layer edge pieces so that they match the colors of the center pieces. I think it kind of gets the general idea of what you're supposed to do, but it's getting the words mixed up. Orient the middle layer. That's actually not a step of the solve. And then permute the bottom layer. No, so nothing about orientation, just permuting it, which is not true. So maybe the AI doesn't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube? Even though we have seen those robots that can solve the cube in like 0.3 seconds. But yeah, this site that I'm using, ChatGPT, apparently can't solve Rubik's Cube. But no worries, this is only the first of 10 cubing questions that I'm going to be asking it. How do I get faster at solving the Rubik's Cube? Practice regularly. That's true. I stand by that a lot. You can learn algorithms and learn methods, but if you don't practice, you're not going to get faster. Use efficient algorithms. That is actually true. Improve your finger dexterity. That's an interesting way of putting it. The speed at which you can manipulate the Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Manipulate the Rubik's Cube. Use good form, comfortable grip on the cube. I like how their tips for getting faster at cubing are just all about finger tricks. Stay focused and eliminate distractions. Find a quiet, distraction-free space to practice in and try to eliminate any external distractions such as music or television. You hear that? If you're cubing and you're trying to get faster, do not listen to music. Do not watch YouTube in the background. I totally don't do that myself all the time. I totally don't have music on. Anyways, now that we know how to get faster at the Rubik's Cube, we gotta see which cube to use to get faster. Rubik's Cube comes in a variety of sizes, that's true. Material, including plastic- WOOD! Plastic, wood, and metal? I guess technically, but what? Some people prefer the feel of a wood or metal cube? No, they don't. <laughs> sticker quality. Higher quality stickers will not peel or fade. Lucky for me, I have a stickerless cube, so they don't peel or fade at all and price. They range from $10 to over $100. That's not wrong. So basically, I should try out a, a metal Rubik's Cube. Okay, wait, hold on. I should be more specific. What is the best 3x3 speed cube? The GAN 356X? That's actually a real speed cube. The Moyu Aolong, Moyu Aolong V2. That's a super old cube, but okay. The Chi Thunderclap. Again, a super old cube. The Yushin Lu... Liu Xiao? I've actually never heard of that one. You know, I think the Gan 356 x was like an actual flagship cube, and if you want to get that cube and more, you can use my code TIBO to get 5% off at dailypuzzles.com.au. Worldwide shipping, good prices, so definitely if you're looking for a speed cube, uh, browse those options in instead of these. Anyways, now I think we should just ask it some general cubing knowledge questions, such as... As of September 2021, the world record for the fastest time to solve a Rubik's Cube is 4.59. Are you Sheng Du? That's not, that's not true. It's 3.47. It's not 4.59. What? I didn't expect it to just give me a straight up wrong answer. I thought it would answer the question. What if I ask it? It's giving me the same answer. Yeah, Yu Sheng Du holds the world record for 4.59 seconds, which is, which is not true. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed by these last two answers. Let's ask it though. Who is the best Rubik's Cube YouTuber? Cubing with Jeremy. I've never heard of that channel. Cubing with Jeremy. Is this even a real channel? Jeremy Fleischman. He's a real cuber. Like, he has a WCA profile. I just don't know if he has a YouTube channel. Yeah, no, it's not a real channel. And then there's speed solving, twisty puzzles, which are forums, not YouTube channels. CalCube? Not sure I've heard of that one. I don't know if this is a real channel either. And The Cubicle, which is a real YouTube channel. Okay, so we've gotten a lot of not so true information. And this one, I wanted to ask it this one because I already know what it's gonna give me. It's gonna give me a wrong answer. What color is opposite blue on a Rubik's Cube? And it says color opposite. Oh, wait, it actually is giving me the right answer. I asked the AI this like a week or two ago and it said that the color opposite blue is orange, but it like learned that it's green. Okay, I'm actually genuinely surprised that one's, that one's a W for the bot. 
Now, there actually have been some ethical concerns about using AI for plagiarism, like a lot of high schools and universities are concerned that people will start writing their papers with AI. So let me just test this out. Write a five paragraph essay about the history of the Rubik's Cube. The Rubik's Cube is a classic puzzle that has been enjoyed by people of all ages for by a Hungarian sculptor and professor of architecture or quickly gained popularity after it was introduced and has remained a popular puzzle ever since. This is a good essay. This is all true information. Again, the 4.59 by Yu Sheng Yu. That's not true. Okay, so now that we've asked it a bunch of questions, I'm gonna see if I could use AI to help out with my own channel. So obviously on this channel, I do a bunch of cubing challenges and I'm gonna ask it for some cubing challenges. Give me five challenges to do with a Rubik's Cube. Okay, this is what it gave us. Time yourself solving the Rubik's Cube as quickly as possible. I mean, that's just like standard speed cubing. Solve the Rubik's Cube blindfolded. Again, another normal thing. Solve the Rubik's Cube one-handed, solve the Rubik's Cube with your feet, and solve the Rubik's Cube while juggling. So all these already are or were WCA events, but solve the Rubik's Cube while juggling, that's actually an interesting one. You know, I'm gonna change the question to give me five fun and unique challenges to do with a Rubik's Cube and see what it comes up with now that it has to think outside the box. Solve the Rubik's Cube while performing a handstand. Might be a little hard to do that, like standing, you know, on your hands while having to solve with your hands, but okay. Solve the Rubik's Cube while blindfolded and wearing noise-canceling headphones. I mean, a lot of the top line solvers already wear noise-canceling headphones just to help them concentrate, but cool. Solve the Rubik's Cube in the dark. Solve the Rubik's Cube while solving another puzzle. And solve the Rubik's Cube while Wait. I literally had this video idea. The series of the first one I literally already had as a video idea, so um I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spoil that one. Wow, okay, so it actually it actually came up with one of my future video ideas. That's, that's, that's actually insane, kind of. I really like these, actually. You know, I think the one that I'm most intrigued by is number four, solving a Rubik's Cube while solving another puzzle. So I'm actually gonna do that right now. Okay, so I have a word search, I have a Rubik's Cube, and I'm gonna do both at the same time. Um, uh, I'm almost done with F2L and I haven't found a single word, great. Um, Okay, all is done, and I haven't found a single word. And the solve is done. Okay, I'm gonna scramble this up again. I'm not even gonna lie, I had a huge headache already while filming this part, and spending 10 whole minutes looking for a single word in a word search was not helping, so please make this pain worth it by subscribing to the channel. Shout out to Tucker Doss for partially inspiring this video with one of his. I'll put the link to that video in the description. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.